Galway Mayo Institute of Technology in the west of Ireland is waiting for you. At GMIT, you can choose from a range of exciting third level programmes with lots of opportunities for work placement, international study exchange, leadership roles, enterprise development and civic engagement. GMIT has five campuses in Galway, Mayo, Letterfrack and Mount Bellew. There are over 70 nationalities and over 50 clubs and societies in GMIT. The main campus in Galway City, which is one of the most vibrant cities in Europe, offers a full range of programmes in engineering, business, computing, science, tourism, creative arts and media, along with specialist research centres in marine science, medical technologies and sustainable energy technologies. As part of my final year, I chose the energy stream. Um, when I was in my leaving cert, uh, going through school, I always had um, an interest in how things work. So going through my leaving cert, then um, I had the opportunity to study in a university or a college. And I chose to study in an IT, a college, because I felt that engineering was a practical subject. And IT offered the um, unique experience of having 50% practical experience and 50% theoretical experience. The first reason I chose to study business in GMIT was because of the variety that the course provides. Although I knew I had an interest in business studies when I finished my leaving cert in Taylors Hill, I had no idea which area of business that I wanted to focus on. So with this course you get two years to really get a feel for the different areas of business from human resource management, IT, marketing, so that by the time your third year comes you get to choose to specialise in something that you really enjoy. The second reason I chose this course was because I had heard about how practical the course was. So this course doesn't test your abilities or your talents just on how much theory that you learn. You get the chance to develop important business skills like teamwork through completing many projects. So there's a real hands-on approach to the course which I really enjoyed. Um, the course is great, it's very hands-on. We started in first year, we did a kind of a general science uh, kind of first year with all other sciences. So you do physics, chemistry and biology and because you're a really good kind of a background and a, a base in it. It's all very practically orientated as well and there's also a little bit of maths like but not too much. Um, second year then goes on, it's kind of much more biology orientated so you do botany and zoology, analytical techniques, biology of aquatic organisms. Um, the course has always been, for, especially in second year, real hands-on. We do everything from the smallest unicellular algae, plants, um, to uh, I suppose uh, whales, dolphins, the whole lot really, fish, uh, crustaceans, sponges and jellyfish and everything in between as well. It entailed different work experiences uh, within Ireland and abroad. Um, I did my own work experience in the Radisson Hotel in Dublin, uh, different blocks. Uh, so I was in college up here in GMIT and then when I went on work placement I went back to the Radisson in Dublin every time. Then there came an opportunity that we did a work placement abroad and I was lucky enough to get a place in Le Manoir au Cas Saison in Oxford in England. It's a two Michelin star restaurant so I couldn't have been happier the place that I got to in the end. I'm doing the level A honours degree in civil engineering. The first year you do a lot of core modules, very broad, kind of like the building blocks for the years to come. You've got a wide range of modules and then towards second and third year they kind of narrow down to more of the specific modules. We do First year you do maths, physics, chemistry, a small bit of physics, chemistry. You do a lot of construction technology, structural design and detailing, um, environmental subjects. And then when you come towards more third year, you start focusing on just the engineering, maths, um, structures, environmental subjects, and a lot of different project management subjects. In the second semester of the third year, you go on a work placement, um, a six week work placement. You can do it in in an office or you can do it out in the construction site. I chose to do it on the construction site. I worked with uh, BAM contractors for six weeks, um, gained great experience with them, um, obtained a summer job from them the following summer, and uh, most of the students did, that, did the workplace and would hope to get full-time employment from there. I'm studying the honours degree in physics and instrumentation, and it is one of the most diverse physics degrees you can ever do. So it covers everything from electronic instrumentation, computerized instrumentation systems, we study programming, we also study physics and metrology, which is the study of SI-based units and uncertainties. As a part of the programme in third year, we actually had to embark on a three-month 
work placement scheme. So it was either mandatory three months or optional six months. So I took the optional six months and I did my work placement with P&O Maritime down the docks. So when I was there I worked on the Tidegate network. So I was working in conjunction with Smart Bay Ireland up in um, Parkmore and we built the data void that is now situated off the coast of Cork with two wind turbines. So as a part of that I chose P&O Maritime because I'm crazy into marine instrumentation and renewable energy systems. So on the data void they have to have wind turbines and they have to have solar panels in order to operate and send information back to us at the new port. Clunwira, also based in Galway, is our centre for the creative arts and media and offers programmes in art and design and film and documentary. When you start off in first year, you really get to try out so many different things in the different disciplines. And you really you start off with the very basic skills of drawing and colour theory. And then um, throughout the year, you start branching out into the different disciplines. So you get a real hands-on approach. Letter Frack is a nationally and internationally recognised centre for excellence in furniture design and manufacture and teacher education, while Mount Bellew specialises in agricultural business and science. Within the course we have four years, two years on site in Letter Frack, we learned about our furniture making and materials and woodwork itself. Um, we also, in our second year, we go on, on site, we have micro teaching where we have our six year students from Letter Frack come into us and we get to teach them there, which is our first experience in teaching students. And then we move into um, the main campus where we do two years, um, mainly focused in education, and we also um, do six weeks blocks of teaching practice in third and fourth year. Not only in Level Frack is the education um, course, there's also production and manufacture course. There are two other courses that are run out of Letter Frack, which um, bring out graduates that work all over the world in America, some in Australia. It's a world-renowned known course. Our campus in Mayo, as well as offering a range of programmes in business, heritage, computing, digital media and construction, also offers specialist programmes in nursing, social studies and outdoor education. I'm studying nursing. It's a four-year course, Bachelor of Science, honours degree. Um, it entails clinical placement and it contains uh, theory as well. And you have a certain stint out in the wards uh, where you learn hands-on about um, nursing and looking after people. The class sizes are very small. Therefore, we have one-on-one -on -one time with our lecturers. Um, whereas if you were in a bigger institute, you would, you'd, you'd be seen as a number, not a name. Everyone knows everyone's name in Castlebar. It's great, and I would recommend it to absolutely anyone. Our programmes are internationally recognised and structured in a flexible way, allowing you to obtain an award at level six, seven or eight, an honours degree. In addition, Masters and PhD degrees are available in specialist areas. During your time at GMIT, we'll have great fun and meet lots of new friends from all over Ireland and overseas. As students, you will get opportunities to lead groups, develop products and services, be innovative and creative, be enterprising, support communities, undertake work placement, study overseas and learn new languages. For more information on all of the programmes on offer at GMIT, Contact the school's liaison office at slo at gmit.ie or go online to www.gmit.ie forward slash slo where you will find lots of information and useful links. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at GMIT Official and check out the GMIT channel on YouTube where you will find over 50 videos on the GMIT student and graduate experience.